Lately, I've been getting more questions about my favorite jewelry pieces. I have done a video on my favorite jewelry pieces. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here as well as in the description section down below. But since that video until today, I do have a few more maybe new pieces like this ring and I have this necklace. So I have a few more pieces just to talk about, but then I will also give you kind of like updates on the wear and tear of these pieces to give you a bit more information if this item is actually suitable for you for your everyday wear. I have two main places where I store my jewelry. This is the one that I put on my dresser with all my moisturizer and this is a beautiful Hermes tray that I use for just putting the ones that I'm using for the week and I'll just leave it here so it's easy to pick. And then I have this other container which is actually a jewelry box where I keep all the rest of my jewelry. Um, the ones that I actually really, really treasure. So this is, is another set. Okay, before we jump right into all of that jewelry talk, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I love to do handbag related videos, skincare, makeup, and of course, now jewelry. That is also part of my content. So if you enjoy that kind of video, I do hope you will subscribe and join the channel. And for everyone else, thank you so much for coming back. Without your support, we will not have today's video sponsor. So for this section of the video, it is sponsored by Lily Silk. So thank you very much, Lily Silk. I am wearing one of their pieces today. I have four items to share with you. Lily Silk is having their 12th anniversary and this time I have to say the items that I got I I'm just like so excited about. Let's talk about this first piece that I'm wearing. This beautiful vanilla cream colored t-shirt. I will put modeling shots so you can see how it looks like. This is kind of designed as a men's t-shirt so it's longer. It's really like a you know you're wearing your husband's or your partner's shirt and it just feels really you know just I don't know like kind of more woman boss girl boss kind of feeling. I love 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 this. If you don't know Lily Silk where have you been? They make high quality items made of silk. They use mulberry silk which is so it's super super luxurious and silk is really really good for your skin. I have been sleeping on silk pillowcases, I have been using silk clothes, silk pajamas, you name it and I'm, I, I'm just obsessed. I have one item here which I'll talk about later. I, I'm just like yes this is gonna save my hair. I wish you could just reach through the screen and just touch this silk. This particular shirt, I feel like the silk is even more luxurious and thicker. I think they have innovated and made their silk even more like, you know, it's substantial. It was always been, but now I can actually like, for this white top, you can't actually see through, right? But you can't. So I'm not even wearing like a camisole inside. You could just put this shirt over and wear and just go because it just looks so put together. I wore this with pants. I wore this with skirts. You know, silk is very, very versatile. It go goes with night or it goes with day. It goes really casually. And because Lily Silk is so innovative, they started out with just like pillowcases, you know, like kind of home care. But now on their site, they have so many things. They've got pajamas, they've got skirts, dresses, shirts, tops, sleeveless, camisoles, you know, undergarments. The amount of items made of silk on their website is just insane. I, I can spend so much time on it. My journey with silk started, I think it was like three years ago when I first purchased a bunch of their pillowcases. After that, it was like no turning back, no more cotton, I don't know how many thread count cotton pillowcases, no. My hair, because I don't have a lot of hair, my hair breaks very easily. That actually silk has been such a lifesaver for my scalp. Sticking with hair, I got a bunch of scrunchies. So the one that I'm wearing is a white one and now I've got like one, two, three, five pieces. So it comes in a set in this beautiful packaging. If you are thinking about buying a gift for someone, I know there are some other brands outside where they sell the silk scrunchies that's really expensive. So this would make beautiful gifts. Just take a look at the packaging. This comes for the t-shirts, like really high quality recyclable uh, boxes that you can keep or you can use it for other things. It comes already packed beautifully and it's a perfect like gift for a birthday, Mother's Day next year, Christmas is coming so you might want to think about that. I chose the scrunchies with a bit of bling and when I wear them on my hair, these rhinestones don't get caught in my hair. 
uh, maybe I just don't have enough hair, but I could just easily pull it out from my hair and it just slides out. When I use like rubber bands or I use like my, um, kind of like my clips, when I pull them out sometimes, I do like lose a few strands of hair. But with the scrunchies, I have not because it's so silky. It just glides along the strands of hair. The other item is another innovation. And I think you've seen these like go around on Instagram and all, but let me tell you, they dry your hair so fast. So this is actually a hair cap and it's made of silk outside, microfiber on the inside. When I wash my hair, I like to, you know, bun my hair up and make it into like a turban with my very, very rough cotton towel. And I have this bad habit of like scrunching my hair, which is probably really bad for your hair as well. So I've been trying to do like, you know, this squeeze out the excess water. But then after I've done that, I'll wrap my hair with a big, big towel, which is cotton. And then I'll just rip it off my scalp, which is really bad. I know, which is why when I saw this on Lily Silk's site, I was so excited. Because this is like a, just for your hair, you cap it on, you do a little twirl on it. And there's a little button at the front that you just secure it. You can, after that, you know, any kind of strands of hair that's sticking out, if I miss them, I'll just like easily tuck them in. And my hair just sits in this very neat, pretty turban and it dries. And when I remove the cap, my hair just flows out. There's no ripping of the hair from the scalp. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited with this. I've been using it every day already since I got it. The final item is also another shirt in this cream color. I think I'm really into this kind of like creamy white colors. It, I was just so attracted to it. It just looks really, really put together, professional, and actually casual as well. This doesn't look like much when I first took it out from the box, but oh my gosh, when you wear it, it is so fun. These are like, these shirts are like kind of men's shirts. So you see them more often. This on the other hand has this jot, look at the size of that sleeve. These sleeves and that, <laughs> the wrist part is so enormous that it's so fun. And because of that, it's even more airy. Like in Singapore, it's so freaking hot. Silk is already so breathable and just so nice to wear. This is even better because now it's got like giant holes in your hand and it looks so, so fun. It looks actually like, like you're wearing this enormous shirt, but at the same time, it's got a bit of ruffles at the side. It just looks so good. It looks great with pants. It looks great with a really chic skirt. I have this beautiful Balmain skirt that I, I love so much. So yeah, this looks so good. So when I first took it off from the box, I was like, oh, that looks kind of like, you know, plainish, you know, with the round collar. But once you put on, oh my goodness, so cute. So these items, I'm gonna link them down below so you can easily check them out. And as I said, Lily Silk is having their 12th anniversary. So I do have a discount code for 12% off, extra site-wide on top of all the discounts that they're having for their items on their site. So if you buy any of these, it's already discounted and then you get 12% on top of your whole order. It is just phenomenal. Like I myself am so excited because <laughs> I want to get more pillowcases. I actually want to get another one of these tops because that's so good. I When I wore it, I was doing like, oh my gosh, that's something different but super pretty and I feel like I need another one of these caps as well because you know I wash my hair every day so this is really convenient but anyway I'm gonna leave it down below I'll link everything down below and thank you again to Lily Silk for these amazing pieces and thank you for the discount code for my followers my followers without you guys I would not have these amazing amazing collaborations so big thank you to all of you as right. well Okay, let's talk about my jewelry pieces and I think I'm going to go more with rings and then maybe talk about my necklaces and then a few of my earrings. I have so many rings and that's because I just love rings. I, I love how they look on the hand and a little bit of bling when you're doing your computer work. So the first ring that is on the tray, so this is like the one that I always will pick out what's, what's the one that I want to wear this week or even today. This is the tray that I go for, so I'm going to put that right here. So the first two rings that I have is the Coco Crush. I have the mini version and I also have the small version. Now, I've had them for about two years now. I absolutely love these rings. If there is one jewelry piece that you think you want to get and try out from Chanel, I would say go with the Coco Crush rings. 
The mini to me feels really really substantial. It's a solid ring for the small. It has sort of like a ridge on the inside which is also really nice. It makes it more comfortable but if you want to feel like the ring wrap around your finger, I feel like the mini is still a, an everyday piece that you can wear and stack with your other rings. In terms of wear and tear, of course they are very scratched up but it's not that it's so terrible that it doesn't look luxurious anymore. The engravings on these Coco Crush rings are just phenomenal. They look so elegant. So even with the scratches on the ring, I feel like it just shows that I am really enjoying my items. Now with rings, you definitely get scratches because you're knocking on the uh, table, you know, you're grabbing things, you're holding things, you're holding the rail, you're doing so many things with your hands, so really scratches are unavoidable. But I feel like they kind of mesh together already that, yes, I can see them if I'm inspecting it, but if you're just looking at my hand like this, you're not going to stare at my scratches. They just sort of mesh with each other and just come into this beautiful, worn, loved look. The other ring that I wear very often is this beautiful Alexia ring which was sent to me gifted so this is super super generous from a company called Emily Jewelry. This ring is solid gold with diamonds and I love this ring. They have something similar from Hermes which is also this kind of like um, Shan I think it's called like a Shandong design but this is different because it's a little more edgier. Now Emily Jewelry is from Japan and they do have different ends of jewelry so they have the fine jewelry, the high-end fine jewelry, but they also have um, the kind of like semi-fine jewelry. It's so, so elegant, so beautiful. I wear it on its own on my third finger or I even pair it with the Coco Crush ring and it just gives it even more bling. Emily jewelry is not like Cartier, Tiffany, Van Cleef and Arpels because this is more of a designer um, jeweler and if you get this ring, no one else will have it if you know what I mean. Like, if you get a love ring, everyone has a love ring. But there's pros and cons to it because of that price point, you are definitely paying a higher price point for the brand. Whereas this, I can tell you, there is so many, wow, sparkly diamonds on this ring. And it feels really good in the hands. And of course, on the hand, it looks so shiny and sparkly as well. That is also on my tray. The other ring that's on my tray is this jade ring, uh, which is made of 22, I think 22 or 24K, I think it's 22K. This is actually a gift from my mom. <laughs> my mom had this jade uh, that she bought from, I think it was Burma or Myanmar. I, I can't remember, but many, 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 many years ago. So she bought a pair of these jade uh, jade stones and honestly we don't know if it's like high quality jade or if it's it doesn't matter I mean we went there my mom went there with uh, my dad and it was one of those trips that they just bought a pair of jade and they wanted to set it into earrings but they never did and then one day my mom was like why don't I make this into a ring for you and for me and then when you know obviously she'll talk about passing down right so she'll pass it down to me or maybe my sister-in-law in the future and we went to the jeweler and we just said it and I was thinking like okay you know jade rings kind of look a little bit more matured but maybe I'll grow into it so anyway I made I decided that I wanted like sort of like a pretzel design I don't know if it turned out right but you guys can tell me if it turned out right when I received it the jeweler, I told him, I want it to be heavy, you know, heavy gold. <laughs> the jeweler, I will make it thick for you. He, I mean, the jeweler definitely did a good job. It, it's so heavy and it kind of looks chunky, but I've kind of grown, you know, grown onto wearing it more and more often. The first time I wore it, to be honest, I was a bit like, oh, that's a jade ring. <laughs> that's a gold jade ring. But I don't know, I kind of like feel... It's, it's starting to grow on me. I think the more I see it on my hands, I'm starting to, um, you know, love it more and more. And I love it. I, don't get me wrong. I love this ring because my mom has one slightly different. My mom has one with a bit of diamonds on it. And it just looks a bit more, you know, mom-like. Whereas for me, I was like, no, I don't want any diamonds. It's okay. Just gold and just put that, put that rock there. <laughs> that also sits on my tray. The final ring that I wear fairly often is this Hermes ring, it's called the new Ferengel ring and I got this 
was it? I bought this, oh, I ordered it last year and then I got it this year uh, because it was towards the end of last year and it didn't have stock for my size. You know, it doesn't look like much in, you know, when you look at it in the store on the pictures, but the diamonds just sparkle, okay? The diamonds go around the like piggy's nose and it just, every angle, it just sparkles. And it's because it's this light gold, like very thin rose gold. It's so comfortable on the hand. I love to wear it on my third finger because I got a size 52. I could go with a 51 because of the thin band, but I kind of like it at a 52. You know, during the day when I, you know, use my hands a bit more, my hands swell up and maybe on, during the time of the month, I just kind of feel bloated a bit more. So this seems to fit me better during those times and it doesn't feel uncomfortable. But the diamonds just look absolutely phenomenal on this. For the wear and tear of this Ferengdal ring, honestly, I don't see a lot of it because, you know, it's really, really thin in the gold. So even if there is scratches or bumps and all, it's hardly visible. The diamonds are locked into. It's really well set. It's so sparkly. I'm just looking at it going like, wow, you're mine. I have a lot more rings to talk about. So if you want me to talk about every single ring, I probably will need to do another video. So comment down below and let me know if you want me to do that because yeah, I have so many pieces that I just, wow, I just love. <laughs> Let's, so let's move on. Okay, let's move on to necklaces and then we'll talk about a, bra a couple of bracelets, bracelets as well. So this necklace that I wear very often, I think since I got it from a company called Ideal, I haven't stopped wearing it, especially this pair of earrings. So this, this necklace and these pair of earrings are from the same company. This necklace is called the Lina necklace and this earring, uh, there are two pieces. So the front stud diamond and then the back stud, which is a kind of like an attachment to the earring. I can attach it to other earrings as well. So this is called the Lucia earring. So Lucia, Lina, it's a modular um, design. So you buy the first uh, staple piece, so I will, you get the necklace first, or you get the stud. And then you can add on attachments, which is, you know, the pendant, they have drop necklaces, there's a drop pendants, they have this one, which is this five stone, super, super pretty, goes with the t-shirt, goes with so many things. I wear this very often. I even have been wearing it like to sleep as well as to shower. It has maintained so well. These earrings, I haven't taken it out for quite a while. I probably need to give it a break and wear my other pair of earrings, which I will also talk about on my tray. So why do I love these earrings? I mean, these pieces so much. Firstly, they're every day. They have been wearing so well and they are very sustainable. So these are not they are not natural diamonds. They are not mined, you know. They are actually lab-grown diamonds. And lab-grown diamonds, people think they're like cubic zirconia. They're like fake diamonds or crystals. They're actually not. They are diamonds, except they are lab-grown. So they go through the same process where they actually have to use a seed, which is carbon seed. And then, you know, they go through, they use machine to simulate and um, kind of imitate how the earth creates real diamonds. So diamonds takes millions and millions of years, but this uses machinery so you can actually get a real diamond, but obviously not in millions of years, right? Lab grown. In terms of value, if you're looking at that, they do not have the same kind of value as say a real diamond. But if you're thinking about sustainability, and honestly, are you gonna sell your diamond? You're not, right? If you sell your diamond, you get half the price or less than half the price anyway. If you bought diamonds, you know what I mean. They actually do not retain the value. What retains the value is the solid gold. So if you're wearing it for aesthetic and for your own enjoyment, I think lab-grown diamonds are the way to go. You get a huge, like two, three carat diamond for fraction of the price, looks beautiful, spectacular, doesn't cost like a robbery at the bank, you know what I mean? So I love this piece and I love my earrings. I love the concept of just buying the first item and then just adding on. And in terms of wear and tear, they have been really, really solid. I, like I said, I wear it all the time or as like 90% of the time, just kind of resist not wearing this. This other necklace is such a cutie pie. I actually love to stack it together with my ideal necklace because them together, oh, they just look like such a complimentary pair. So this necklace is from Alexia, sorry, from 
Emily jewelry as well and it's actually a real diamond so this is a natural diamond and it comes with two loops because it's 9k gold the price is also more affordable but it's still gold it is still fine jewelry it's super pretty it goes so well with this necklace this is actually the pair that i wear very very often this is the one that i put here the other necklace that i put here as well is my tiffany star but i feel like with the star and the ideal it sometimes clashes but i'll still wear it i like something that would match and just look very feminine but yet kind of simple but look edgy as well so this combination is something that i wear often and again good quality hard wearing wear it to sleep wear it to shower wear it to gym it's just i need to be i think maybe for me i'm i need to be a little bit more gentle with my items but you know you buy them to wear right if they're gonna break down then it's definitely not worth the money but these items have really really taken the beating from cat i've already spoken about the lucia earrings so one more pair of earrings which is i kind of like girl crushing on <laughs> are these earrings from michelle wong these are her 14k gold onyx earrings which if you watch my videos you know they are like two little black onyx earrings dangling on my ears they don't look like much, honestly. They just look like, you know, drop earrings with this French hook. Like on when I tie my hair up or I let my hair down and I just wear a shirt. They actually look so, so simple and elegant. And they go with every occasion. I've worn them for night outs. I wear them for casual. I wear them to work. I just love how they you know, add a bit of something to the ear, not too much. So sometimes if you wear like bigger earrings or maybe the the, the stone, the semi-precious stone is a little bit too big, it does stand out maybe a bit too much. It makes your ear loop droop a little bit more, you know what I mean? But these are kind of light and they just, you know, dangle on your ears. They're so cute, especially with the hair worn up. I really, really love this pair of earrings from Michelle and of course I'm a big fan of Michelle Wong so when she makes more of these like, I hope she comes out with Tiger Eye or Malachite or maybe I'm not sure if I would like Mother of Pearl honestly Mother of Pearl is nice but I don't know something maybe darker so they'll stand out or maybe if she makes turquoise oh, I'm definitely gonna get it you know I, I, I love to support another YouTuber and she has been so spectacular on her channel. So, stop raving about Michelle Wong, but definitely these pair of earrings, I wear them very often and they are on my Hermes tray. Final item, let's talk about the one on my wrist. So, this is the two pieces that you see me wear all the time. My love bracelet and obviously this is my nomination bracelet. This nomination bracelet lives, okay? It is tattooed, okay? If you could glue this on my hand, it'll be on my hand. This has been with me since I turned 21. I am 40 <laughs> this year. So, you can count, it's almost 20 years on my hand. I got this as a beautiful gift from two of my really good college or uni friends then and I still keep in contact. Obviously not as much as I should but we actually have a group chat, you know, occasionally we wish each other happy birthday but I know that this is something that I really treasure. When I look at this, I think of that one, of that moment that they gave it to me, it was just... Oh. So anyway, never leave my hand. So I need a, anything that is on my hand needs to match it. Priorities, right? So this love bracelet is definitely one of it. And I wear and tear. It basically is so worn that the wear and tear matches the bracelet right now. There are bumps, there are scratches, there is dirt. <laughs> There's everything on this. I don't ever take this out. I get a lot of questions uh, regarding this bracelet. If you go for traveling, do you need to take your screwdriver with you? And, you know, do you need to take it out if you pass through uh, security? Now, every time I pass through security, it beeps. I don't know if it's the love bracelet or it's my nomination bracelet or it's my watch or it could be the buttons on my shirt. But I always beep and I suspect it's my love bracelet. And they've never asked me to remove it. There was only one occasion where the security guard in Malaysia said, take it off or keluarkan. I said, oh, then I just told him, I said, oh, I can't. It's actually screw. And he said, oh, okay, just pass. And they'll use, you know, that um, handheld detector and they can, you know, when they pass through it, pass my hand, you can hit beep 
and that's it. They that's all they want to know. So I don't fear um, being stopped at security because of my jewelry pieces. I think it's it's kind of accepted and common enough that they just let you pass if it's jewelry. But if you want to be on the safe side, I would recommend you carry along the screwdriver. Now you may not want to carry the actual. Cartier screwdriver in fear of losing it you can carry one of those like regular screwdrivers it fits perfectly you probably have to test and just keep that as you know in your luggage or in your hand carry just something really small that is very non-valuable for sure and also if you get a security guard that says take it off like it's just having a bad day then at least you have it there to remove it right rather than they clip it off I don't know they just create some trouble for you so I would recommend that you bring along something small, a small screwdriver, you know, get from the hardware store, a tiny one, don't get like the full full big one because that would be a weapon on the plane, but a tiny one, and you put it in your handbag, put it with your you know, ne um, you know, tweezers and all, they'll probably let you pass, and even if they want to take it, at least it's non, not, not valuable and just, you know, have my little tiny puny screwdriver right so those are all the jewelry pieces that i have been wearing on constant rotation in the past maybe six to eight months and i do see myself continue to use them again and again and again and like i said if you want me to talk about my you know the rest of my jewelry pieces which also includes let me just open my box which also includes my juc i have a um, what is this David Yerman uh, bracelet? I have a Tiffany and uh, Tiffany and Co T bracelet. I have a couple of Chanel's. I have this beautiful like um, aquamarine uh, ring. I have so many. So if you want me to do another like a part two, comment down below. I will definitely do it for you, and maybe I'll do even more close ups. You know, it's I, I love jewelry, so yeah. No problem. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Lily Silk. Truly, their sale right now is really, really good. And if you're thinking about getting something for yourself, for your mom, for your dad, for your family, preparing for Christmas, this is a really good time to stock up and get those beautiful pieces packaged so well. And you can use my discount code for an extra 10% off. So anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!